Hey guys, it's Karen from 50's The New 50 Blog, and I'm going to do a tutorial today all about the perfection of the Perfector Sponge. And I thought this would be a fun new series of videos to do, talking about the different mascara tools, going over different tips, and answering the different questions that you guys have. So today, it's all about the Perfector Sponge. So let's get started. So first off, this is a Perfector sponge. It is the blending sponge that mascara has. It's $13 and I've seen them at Ulta for anywhere from 18 to 20. So here is a dry, dirty Perfector sponge and this is my Perfector sponge that I have cleaned with Dawn soap, wrung it out really well, put it into a dish towel, squeezed it again and got it to just be this perfect poofy, double in size, beautiful puffy little marshmallow of a blender. And this is what we're going to use to blend our makeup and a whole lot of other things. So let's get started. Okay, to start I'm going to start with some stay spray and I'm going to go ahead and spritz some of that on my face and grab my perfector sponge and just dab in some of that excess. Let that dry. Okay, so the first thing for me is to use my color corrector which is mango and I'm just going to use my finger to pick up some of that and I'm just going to lightly press a very light layer over the areas that I need to color correct. So these are age spots, sun spots. Pick. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and contour and I'm going to take this side of my detailed hack brush and my contour color is ash. I'm going to go ahead and just brush that in. I'm going to start by contouring up here on my forehead and I don't have any other makeup on right now. I prepped my face this morning with my milk moisturizer. You saw me put a little bit of stay spray on and then I did add a little bit of my color corrector. So this is my ash and I'm just brushing it in to lower my forehead. Give me a little bit more definition, kind of shorten that forehead so that it focuses more on my eyes. I'm now going to take that and kind of come along here outside of my cheekbone up by the ear and up underneath my cheekbone, just kind of pushing that in. I don't want to go straight down, I kind of want to cup it up under there. The next place I'm going to contour, I've started up on my forehead, cheeks, now I'm going to kind of come up in underneath my jaw and define that and add a shadow underneath my jaw. And along my chin, pulling that color down, kind of camouflage that under chin stuff stuff, I guess is what we'll call that. <laughs> and then I'm just brushing that color down to create a nice shadow. So I've contoured up here, cheekbones and underneath. The great thing about having everything in one compact is that I can actually use my contour as an eyebrow pomade and define those eyebrows with the same color I'm using to contour with. Okay, so I put those eyebrows on with that same contour that I used to do my cheekbones, my forehead, and underneath my jaw and chin. So I can grab that perfector sponge. Let's say I got a little bit too wild. Maybe I just got a little too wide or I came down too far um, into kind of my laugh line area. I can just twist. Okay, now I'm going to come in with my main highlight, and this is my blush or bronzer brush. And I like to use this end, this larger end, and I'm going to just dip it into my main color, which is sandy. And I'm just going to do a two tap and then kind of come over here and I'm just going to fill in all of these other areas. I don't have to put it where the contour is because that's already giving me coverage. But I'm going to kind of come in and just apply my main highlight which is basically foundation, part of our foundation. Okay so I've gone through and I've just applied my main color sandy all over and now I can go ahead if I'd like to and I can do a little bit more blending. Again if I got too heavy anywhere this is going to pick it up with the perfector sponge up here where I have the definition between this line of my contour and my sandy I can just take and I'm just kind of rotating that and I'm just doing a little very gentle little press and twist and can you see how that just kind of softened that line. Alright another place I like to use my candle lit is I like to use it to prime my eyelids so I've just put a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to kind of come in and use it as an eyeshadow primer. It's going to brighten, it's going to make my lid look larger. See the difference between the two already? 
All right, so I can take a little bit of that sponge again, my perfector sponge, and I can just kind of come in with the pointy end and blend and tap that in. So now it's ready for my eyeshadow. Okay, so I can use the larger end of my perfector sponge and dip it in some blush and I can apply my blush with it and it's going to apply it and blend it all at once. So I'm going to use Bare because it's one of our colors, the 25 colors of lips and cheek this month. So I'm just tabbing that in, going in the balls of my cheeks right above that contour line and then at the same time with the color already on there, I can take and blend and meld together my contour line and my blush. So that's just a really great way to add your blush and to blend it all at once and it just gives you a nice smooth glowy look with that cream blush. Next I'm going to take my perfector sponge and use the smaller tip and pick up some of my illuminator and this one is rose gold and I'm going to dab it in there and then I'm going to kind of come along here along the highest part of my cheekbone and add that illuminator a bit up here on our right underneath our eyebrow on the highest part of our brow bone and a little bit down the strip of our nose make sure you dab it in you can turn your sponge around rotate it a bit to blend those together So this is just a really natural look, but if I wanted to add a little bit more warmth, a little bit more color, I can take that perfector sponge in the bigger end and I can dab it into my Bella Cream Bronzer. And I can come along here and just kind of hit tops of my cheekbones, up on my forehead, wherever I would have that natural kind of glow from a little bit of sun. And that just added just a bit more color and warmed me up just a little bit. Okay, so when you're all done, make sure that you wash your perfector sponge out at the end of each use, and I just wash it out with some Dawn liquid soap. I soak it in there, put some soap in there, and I just kind of keep squeezing it and rinsing it and squeezing it and rinsing it until I get it all nice and clean, and then just let that air dry. So, the perfection of the perfector sponge, you definitely need to get one. You have to have it in your makeup kit. It's so versatile. It's just the perfect blending tool. It's just the best. So thank you guys so much again for watching one of my tutorials. And if you have any questions, please message me or email me. And my link for that is in my bio. Uh, you can comment below if you wanted to get color matched or find out more about these products. Just let me know. Have a great day.